You're watching WSBT, your local news leader. First thing in the morning. Well, some local students and adults will get a chance to show off their art this weekend. It's happening at Stanley Clark School in South Bend. And joining me this morning is Christina Butler, the events manager for Stanley Clark School, and David Jewell, the chairperson for Arts for the Mind 2009. That's what this event is called. Uh, now, Christina, there's a couple of different aspects, and we'll talk a little bit about the art surrounding us here in a minute. But there's an event on Friday before some of the stuff Saturday and Sunday. And the, the Friday event, a uh, big guest is going to be there, right? Yes, Corky Siegel Chamber Blues. He's a harmonica blues player, and he decided to put his sound with a chamber group cellos, violins, that kind of thing. And if you want to come to that on Friday, that is, you do have to pay something for that, Yes, correct? $75, and um, you can just call me, Christina Butler, at Stanley Clark School at 574-291-4200. And is that money helping something? Or? Yeah, our art program mm -hmm. at Stanley Clark. Mm -hmm, which is such a big focus. Now, David, we, we have some art. Saturday and Sunday, though, what's great is you can come out and see this art. That's for free. What kind of stuff are people going to see? Saturday and Sunday, you're right, is, is a completely free event, 11 to 4, open to the public. We want to encourage children to attend uh, with their parents, of course. We'll have activities for children. But one of the things you may notice, it's a very subtle change. We have changed the name of our program this year from Art for the Mind to Arts for the Mind because we really do want to remind people that art is just about anything that inspires an emotional mm -hmm. or intellectual response. And that can come from visual, uh, input, sound, smell, and as you'll see at the patron party Friday night, even taste can taste. be rather artful as well. <laughs> yes, that's always a good point. It's always a good point. And, and there's going to be a mix, right, of local artists' work and, and from other parts around the country, too. That's true. This is a juried show. Mm -hmm. um, we do work with serious artists, yeah. um, but uh, we do have artists coming from the very local region, but we have had in previous years artists come from as far away as the East Coast, New mm -hmm. Mexico, and we have a... And this a, year, Arizona. That's true. That'll be a long way away. Mm -hmm. and that's then, true. For those of you not familiar where Stanley Clark is, sort of on the south side of South Bend, right off Miami before you get to Ireland. Miami at Donmore. Very easy to spot. Uh, Christina, what, as we wrap things up here, though, the time can you give them for, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Absolutely. 7 to 10 on Friday night mm -hmm. is the patron party, and from 11 to 4 is the free public showing. And everything on is Saturday right at the Sunday. school, correct? Absolutely. And uh, Hall. it should be a great event. We know it is every year. And it, it's, uh, it, uh, David, as we wrap things up, uh, when you talk about the kids' involvement, I mean, with the Financial Times run, it's such a battle sometimes to save arts, and that's part of this, right? That's true. Stanley Clark, for all of its years, 51 years now of, of existence, has maintained its commitment to art in education because it's extremely important that as we educate our children that we teach both sides of the brain, the creative mm -hmm. and the logical. So we're not all alike, which True. is a great thing, right? True. Well, good luck this weekend. We know it'll be a great event. It always is, and uh, we look forward to it then. And we're, we're looking forward to now. Carrie's got her uh, uh, forecast. It's Thursday. I guess we'll take an early head of the weekend because we don't want to talk about this morning. It's freezing out there right now. We'll be right back.